Good morning, church. Hope we are doing well. It is an absolute joy and pleasure to share today's devotion with you. I hope um, it's going to be a blessing and inspire you for the day. My name is Williams. I'm part of the Audacious South team. So we'll be reading from the book of John, chapter 20, verse 15. The message I'll be bringing is about the, the encounter Mary Magdalene had with Jesus on that first resurrection morning. Um, let's just have a read uh, before we dive into it. John chapter 20 verse 15. I'm reading from the Amplified Version. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you crying? For whom are you looking? Supposing that he was the gardener, she replied, Sir, if you are the one who has carried him away from here, tell me where you have put him, and I will take him away. Recently in my family Bible study, we read this chapter and I asked the question, why did Mary not recognize Jesus? Jesus spent three years of his ministry on planet Earth with the disciples. He invested those years into them. It is difficult for Mary to miss Jesus. A lot of answers were given, but my one is very profound, the one given by my eight-year-old daughter. She said, because Jesus had a transformed body, which is true, but beyond the transformed body, there's still much uh, to explore. For example, it's difficult for Mary to miss Jesus. When I'm walking the stairs, walking up the stairs, my daughters are upstairs. Even before I get to, to their few view, my daughter would shout, Daddy. So one day I sat her down and said, how do you know? He said, because I know your, when you, your step, I know how you work. I know the sound of your step as you try to climb up the stairs. So it is... I think it's extremely difficult for Mary not to recognize Jesus. But something happened between Friday and that Sunday morning. Mary was expecting to see Jesus in the grave. She was expecting to anoint Jesus' body. So Mary was consumed by the event of Friday that she forgot the main purpose of Jesus coming. He told them eloquently many times that I will die and I will rise on the third day. How could they forget that? Did, did Mary or the other disciples, did they not believe Jesus? I bet they did believe Jesus. But I would, I would think they were not expecting, Mary was not expecting Jesus to die or even to die the way he died. So the, when Jesus was lowered down the grave, her world was shattered. Everything she knew disappeared. She was still in that shock of Friday. She couldn't wait for the Passover, to, the Passover to be over so that she would, she would run to the tomb to anoint Jesus' body. As a mark of respect and her love for Jesus. As strange as this might sound, we Christians often find ourselves in the same boat as Mary. You have a word from God. You have promises from God. 
they are reaffirmed on a Sunday service on the morning or afternoon, whichever of the services you attended. And you've done your devotion in the morning. You, you believe the word of God that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. That he said he will never leave you nor forsake you. But when you show up in your office, in your school, in your marketplace, on setting events, seemingly failing events like the event that happened on Friday, the crucifixion of Jesus, showed up. You never bargained for that. You are thrown off balance. Everything that you knew disappears. So you, in the midst of this, you are looking for the living among the dead. You are like Mary. Your head is, 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 is um, clouded with events of, hap of the happening because you never planned for them. Your head is full. The promise is gone. And you are mistaking resurrection for the gardener. Church, God's words will never fail. What he said to you does not depend on the circumstance you are facing even now as I speak. Or even the situation that you are going to face as you step out. His word is not dependent on this. He is your I am. He remained the same. His word is forever settled. If it's darkness, he says, let there be light, it will become light. Situation had no other alternative than to obey him. He knew ahead of time before he spoke to you. Miracles are birth in the womb of expectation. What are you expecting today? What are you expecting? Expect resurrection. He's gone ahead of you. Even in that situation that will show up today, he's gone ahead of you and his word will never fail. Hold on to the promise of God. You will see resurrection. God bless you. Have a resurrection day. See you soon. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for grace. I thank you for resurrection. Thank you for a fantastic day today for your people. Thank you for showing up in every circumstance to the glory of your name. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a fab day. I'll see you soon.